please join in singing our opening hymn. It can be found in the back of the blue books at number 238, 238. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This morning's Mass is being offered for Reverend Daniel D. Magny. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary, bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Mercy. May God have peace. 
second reading, the reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons, as proof that you are sons. God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Please stand for the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for they for all they had heard and seen just as it had been told to them when 8 days were completed for his circumcision he was named Jesus the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Happy New Year. Today's a feast day called Mary, the Mother of God.
And that title, that name for Mary, the mother of God, is an amazing name. Today we have a special mother and father with us here. We have a mop and a, what is it, a fop. Fop and a mop, an M-O-P, as in a mother of a priest. And we have the father of a priest here with us. Hello. Yes. <laughs> They are Father Sean's parents, right here. So, Mary has the title, the Mother of God. And that feels impossible. How can God have a mother where God is the beginning. If there was something before God, that would be God. And then God would become not God anymore, right? God means he is the beginning. He's ever living. Eternally. There was no beginning before him, so how can he have a mother? If God had a mother, then the mother would be God, right? But at the same time, we do have this name for Mary as the mother of God. So how can we have that? Jesus, is Jesus himself God? Yes, yes, he is. So God shows himself to us as the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Now, when the second person of the Trinity, God the Son, became human, he then had a mother. So now it feels strange that God does have a mother at this point. And now, one story, we were, we were singing with the choir on Tuesday evening, and we had a new member of the choir, and it was a young girl, and she was singing this one phrase, was, Jesus is a baby, but at the same time, he is God. That was the meaning of the phrase, and she said, how can Jesus I thought that Jesus was the father. So how is Jesus the baby? Hmm. I thought that Jesus I thought that Jesus' father was God. So how can he be God too? It's strange. It's confusing, right? It's, it's not easy to understand when you really think about it. But all of these things, God as the Trinity, God having a mother, God being Jesus, fully God and fully human, it seems strange. But strange... Not strange like, like weird or uncomfortable, not that kind of strange. It's strange in a different way. It's, it's strange in a beautiful way. 
and it's strange in a way that fits, a way that works. And we can expect it because when we talk about who God is, it really surpasses our ability, our understanding. So when we talk about God, when we discuss things related to God, it should be strange. It shouldn't be 100% clear. It should be a little, you know, amazing and that kind of strange, that sort of beautiful and interesting, that kind of strange. and fascinating. So that name that we have for Mary that we celebrate today as the mother of God gives us that sense of wonder and that amazement and that awe. It's an amazing thing for us that God sent his son who was born of Mary, and she is the mother of the eternal son. And she, as the mother of God, shows how heaven and earth are reconciled. Amen. Let us pray. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention, we pray that educators may be credible witnesses teaching fraternity rather than competition and helping the youngest and most vulnerable above all. <clears throat> we pray to the Lord, Lord of <clears throat> Bishop Sean that he will bless our friend Father Ed Riley's new work as administrator of our neighboring parish of Sacred Heart of Waltham, we pray to the Lord. For all our supporters and benefactors, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, we pray to the Lord. And we pray for Daniel D. Magni, for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 
And we pray for Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. May he rest in eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, we pray with confidence that you know our humble prayers and we know that you will answer them as we pray with the intercession of St. Joseph, St. Jude, and especially with the perfect prayers from the ever, blessed ever Virgin Mary, the mother of God, through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled joyful all ye nations rise join the triumph of the skies with the angelic Proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time, behold him come offspring of the virgin's womb veiled in flesh the god had seen hail the incarnate deity pleased us man with men to dwell jesus our emmanuel hark the herald angels sing glory to King. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness, light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. Mild he lays his glory by, born that man no more may second birth hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept that sacrifice. (laughs) 
O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For, our, for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of the virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Sean, our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, his auxiliary Bishop Robert, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, through Christ our Lord, amen. Happy New Year. Just some brief announcements. Tonight we do have youth ministry from 6 to 8. Tomorrow evening we have choir rehearsal from 7.30 to 8.30. Anyone who is interested in learning or joining us is welcome, the more the merrier. We also have a trip planned for the March for Life. There is more information about that pilgrimage in the bulletin. You can register online on our website. Please join us for that March for Life pilgrimage and you can read more announcements in the bulletin. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Please join in singing our closing hymn. It can be found at number 203-203. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains, repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace. And makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love, and wonders of his love, and wonders, wonders of his love.